2023 BMW X1 xDrive 28i first test, they make M like they used to. BMW has long taken the one sausage, different lengths approach to developing and building vehicles. Traditionally, the automaker has taken a single design language and stretched it across an entire product lineup. Now, BMW is rethinking its identity. Its most recent products range from models with avant-garde styling like the XM Super SUV and flagship 7 Series sedan to more conservatively designed cars like the redesigned 2 Series and updated 3 Series. The third-generation BMW X1 falls into the latter camp, its proportions seeming to recall the E83 X3 from nearly 20 years ago. Boxier styling is accompanied by dimensions that have grown from the previous generation model. On the inside, the X1 receives a more tech-centric interior and plenty of luxurious amenities. Alongside appealing packaging, BMW also spiced up the drivetrain with more power, additional torque, and a dual-clutch transmission. Returning to the well-worn sausage metaphor, these changes made us more excited than we would normally be to sample the smallest link in BMW's lineup. The real question is, does it have classic ultimate driving machine flavor? Is the 2023 BMW X1 fun to drive? The X1 is one of the best driving vehicles in its segment. Feel some steering contributes to the X1's tossable and nimble character on the freeway or a winding road. The buttery 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder churns out 241 horsepower and a meaty 295 lbft of torque over a wide rev range. The power plant is mated to a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission that delivers crisp, quick shifts and further contributes to the X1's sportiness. There seems to always be power on tap, which meets the pavement with an all-wheel drive system that reliably sorts things out for the best traction possible on any given corner. Brake pedal feel is excellent, too, there's the perfect amount of bite at the top of the travel and firm, linear feel throughout the rest of its range of motion. We put the X1 through its paces during a drive out of Palm Springs, through the mountains, and on freeways back to Los Angeles. Our spirited dash up the curvy pavement of California 74 gave us plenty of time to get comfortable with the X1's poised chassis balance. Although the X1 is decidedly a size up from any hatchback, it has a certain hotness that lends itself to enthusiastic driving. Our test car came equipped with the M Sport package, which lowers the right height with adaptive sport suspension, equips retuned steering with a tighter ratio than the standard car, and adds paddle shifters to the steering wheel. Clicking down and holding the downshift paddle enables a boost mode that maximizes drivetrain responsiveness. Doing so allows for rapid passing maneuvers. The sport suspension is stiff but not uncomfortable for daily driving, but drivers hoping for a more luxurious daily experience should stick with the standard setup. In our vehicle's case, the X1 never became unsettled at speed and boasted tremendous composure over 150 miles of highway driving. To the driving enthusiast, this is a fantastic all-arounder. It seems BMW rediscovered its special sauce and subsequently injected it into its entry-level crossover. Is the interior nice? For the most part, BMW nailed the 2023 X1's interior. Our example came loaded with the M Sport package and premium package, and it featured a solid mix of soft-touch materials and metal, or imitation metal, that covered almost every surface. Plastics and rubbers used elsewhere were sturdy and felt premium, and the whole cabin was free of creaks, squeaks, and rattles. Not only are the materials high quality, but there's also tons of available tech. Voice control, activated by saying, hey, BMW, works remarkably well and was able to process the majority of the commands we threw at it. It'll change the radio station, adjust the temperature, and set a destination via the navigation system quicker than the user can work the touchscreen. A dual display setup dominates the dashboard with a 10.3-inch instrument cluster and a 10.7-inch infotainment unit. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard. A phone cradle secures mobile devices with a clip, a thoughtful feature that rethinks how our devices can be stowed in cars. The space doubles as a wireless charging pad in vehicles equipped with the premium package. 
Unfortunately, the rotary iDrive knob isn't equipped on the X1 anymore, so the only two options for doing most things must be done using the touchscreen or voice commands rather than physical buttons. The area where the iDrive controller would typically be found is a small area that houses the shift toggle, ignition button, and controls for other features like parking assist, drive mode selection, and auto hold. The layout is intuitive, but we still wish there were a knob to operate the infotainment display that would allow us to better keep our eyes on the road. That said, we did like the storage cubby underneath the center console, which is large enough for a medium-sized purse or a small grocery bag. Although there isn't a traditional bin under the armrest, BMW managed to squeeze in a small compartment for slim objects. Other notable packaging items include the cargo nets on either side of the trunk and the underfloor storage area that holds the spare tire with extra room for even more items. As a whole, the X1 yields little in terms of luxury and practicality compared to others in its segment. Is the X1 a good value? As equipped, our test car stickered at $50,795, which is a good chunk of change for a small SUV. That said, we wouldn't necessarily feel shortchanged if it landed in our personal garage, as there's plenty of equipment and performance to be had, especially with the long list of features included as part of the M Sport and the premium packages. For easy cost saving, we would start by doing without the beautiful matte frozen pure gray metallic paint, which rings in at $2,350 and is the most expensive optional color on the order sheet. Buyers in search of a stripped-down X1 will find the base model we get in the United States can only be equipped with all-wheel drive, which keeps the starting MSRP fairly high for the segment. The base price is $39,250, making it one of the most expensive offerings in the luxury subcompact crossover segment. BMW equips a decent roster of standard active driver assistance features, including forward collision warning, blind spot monitoring, and lane departure warning. Parking sensors and adaptive LED headlights are also fitted to every X1. Although this is a pretty decent suite of equipment, adaptive cruise control is a notable omission. Surprisingly good fuel economy helps to balance out the X1's value proposition. The EPA rates the smallest BMW SUV at 2534 MPG city slash highway, which is better than the equivalent Audi Q3 or Volvo XC40. Combined fuel economy improved by 2 miles per gallon over the previous generation, which should take away some of the sting of fueling up with premium gas. Should I buy a BMW X1? Seemingly with each new or redesigned model, BMW has begun rebuilding its ultimate driving machine reputation. On top of the 2023 X1's tech and practicality, this luxury subcompact crossover is fun to drive, too, making it an option we could heartily recommend. Even as BMW diversifies its design and vehicle strategies, the best move the company has made has been to refocus on simply delivering excellent vehicles. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.